Hey guys, it's Portly. Just want to preface this video by saying that the audio got a little warped because I, I messed some stuff up and so the audio saved kind of weird and the whole the whole video is just going to be weird. I did my best to fix it, but uh, you know, it is what it is. And I understand the irony that this is a video about an audio product and yet I messed up the audio. That's what you get with old Portly. It's risk and reward subscription that you've got here. <laughs> Enjoy the video. All right, so we're going to keep this audio train rolling. If you've seen my last video, you know that it was the toner microphone that I was sent. And now we're going to go on to the other side of the audio spectrum. Instead of focusing on something that picks up your voice, we're going to focus on some earbuds, which you can use to put other voices into your ears. Not like the ones that are normally in your head, like all the time, but just like, like musical ones. <laughs> this is a weird intro. <laughs> Can you tell these videos are not scripted? Today we are checking out some truly wireless earbuds similar to, of course, the ones that everybody knows, the AirPods. There are a lot of companies out there releasing truly wireless earbuds. If you search for some on Amazon, there's just so many to choose from. You want something for your Android phone or you just don't want to shell out however many hundreds of dollars AirPods cost these days, there are plenty of alternative options out there for a much lower price. So we're going to bring that price down a notch today with these earbuds that were provided to me for review by XFIT. These are the XFIT BCS T90 True Wireless Earbuds and uh, they have left quite an impression on me. Get comfortable, put your feet up, lay back and have, have a snack, maybe a glass of water or a refreshing beverage. And uh, let's get into these earbuds. Inside the box, which has like surprisingly impressive packaging that I was not expecting, by the way, you're going to find, of course, as always, the star of the show, which is the earbuds themselves, various sizes of silicone ear tips, and to even more of my surprise, there is a USB-C cable in here to charge these things. Right away, my first impression just looking at the case that comes with these things is this thing is sleek. I mean, even compared to like the old fashioned AirPods, these are my wife's. This is nice and these are sleek, but this looks better to me. Just a tiny little black case. I don't know, something about this just seems really nice and pleasing to the eyes. And then the earbuds themselves, while I personally don't like the kinds like AirPods where you have like a whole stick just sticking out, these have that design. It's still got that sleek, almost futuristic look to it. It doesn't feel cheap. This thing feels like hefty, not like heavy, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna just break on you. These don't feel like they're gonna break or that if you drop them, they're just gonna shatter. These will connect to your devices via Bluetooth 5.0 and they have a 10 hour battery life alone, plus an additional 14 hours by charging them through the charging case. On top of that, if you manage to let these things die as well as the case, these are fast charging. That is one of the benefits of USB-C, people. This thing will charge pretty quickly. If you're planning to use these things to work out, do not worry because they have an IPX4 flash and sweat resistant rating so you can wear these things at the gym or at home You're, you can't go to the gym right now but at home working out or wherever you know just just be safe if you do wear these things to work out or while out and about whenever you might be using them and you don't want to pull out your phone to change a song or answer a call or change the volume you can do all that through the touch controls implemented into the actual earbuds out of the box while listening to music a triple tap on the right earbud will change to the next song and on the left earbud will change to the previous song a double tap will open something like siri or other kinds of voice assistants i actually don't know what it would do with Android depending on the phone, but for me it opened up Siri. And then a single tap will pause or play the audio. If you hold your finger down on the right ear pod, it will increase the volume and then if you do it on the left side it will decrease the volume. If you're on a phone call you can just hold down either of the earbuds to hang up the call. Pulling one of the earbuds out of your ear does not pause the music automatically, however through the help of the XFIT Mate app that you can download onto your phone, there are different settings that you can change, tapping and double tapping and triple tapping etc. You can change how those work. So if you don't quite like how it works out of the box, you can go ahead and change that. I made it more familiar like something like the AirPods where I double tap to change songs instead of triple tapping. And I made it so if I pull one of the earbuds out, the music will automatically pause. It's great and it's convenient. So if you're looking to buy one of these or if you have some of these and you didn't know that you can download the app to change those settings to make it more to your preference, I definitely recommend checking the app out and going in there and changing it. Connecting to the app, there are other things you can do. There are four preset equalizers that you can can select from there's the normal sort of flat e 
equalizer, as well as treble boost, bass boost, and the enhanced audio, which is supposed to be like more of a balanced mix between bass and treble. That's the one that I've usually gone with, and to me, to my ear, sounds the best. Now looks aside, this is an audio device, so the most important thing is, how does it sound? This thing can look like the coolest thing you've ever seen. It can look like your mom's Tesla, but if it doesn't sound very good, then like, what's the point? Well, luckily, these do not disappoint. I am no audiophile, so take my opinion with a grain of salt, but to me, it sounded fine. My experience using headphones to listen to music on a digital music service like Amazon Music, which I use on an iPhone, it basically sounded how you would expect that to sound. It didn't sound bad. It didn't sound weird or like poor quality. It sounded clear and it sounded fine. But if you are an audiophile, you know what to listen for and you have used other higher end earbuds like AirPods or what have you, you'll probably hear a bit of a difference. I myself do hear just a tiny bit more clarity using AirPods in comparison to these in my side-by-side -side testing, but it's sort of a small gap. To give you some contrast and comparison, these are $69.99 and AirPods are like a bunch more than that. On the opposite end of the spectrum, you have something like these $30 True Wireless earbuds from JLab, which I picked up from Target a while back. Only 30 bucks retail, and uh, I don't even remember the name of the model. I just know that I like the pretty colors from what I saw on these ads on Instagram, and I picked them up from Target because it was only 30 bucks. But I will say, my first impression upon testing these out is that it did not sound great. There was definitely a noticeable drop in quality listening to these compared to listening to music on AirPods or just regular headphones. But for only $40 more, just slightly double the price, you are getting way more than double the audio quality. I would say that the difference in quality between these two is much greater than the difference in quality between these XFIT earbuds and AirPods. I do like that these have separate LEDs in the front to show you the charge level of each earbud in there. If for whatever reason, maybe you're listening to music through just one of the earbuds for a while because you need a free ear, and then you go and put these in the charging case, you'll see probably two different colors of LEDs to show you that one has more or less battery than the other. I think it's a nice little touch that I didn't really think of as being a thing that I would want, but the fact that it's there and I can see it, is pretty cool. In addition to that, the XFIT Mate app I mentioned earlier does actually show you a clear battery and percentage indicator for each independent earbud. I also want to point out that on iOS at least, the XFIT Mate app has like one star. It only has like one or two reviews on there, but they gave it one star for whatever reason. I haven't experienced any kind of weird issues or disconnection problems, so I don't really understand why it has one star. So if you see that, if you go look up the app or you buy these and see the app has one star, don't let that drive you away. I haven't had any issues and it's worked and been just fine and done exactly what I needed it to do. I'm just like holding these earbuds the whole time throughout this whole video. Did you notice that? I've just noticed that right now. Speaking of no connection issues, these things have like a pretty impressive range. I actually left my phone over here on my desk playing music while I had these in my ears to test out. I walked away quite a distance, went to the bathroom, and I was able to hear everything clearly. There was no kind of disconnection or loss in audio quality. It sounded like I was just at my desk a moment ago listening to the music, and I was just like blown away. In the past, I have purchased budget Bluetooth headphones that, no joke, if I had my phone in my pocket, they would start to disconnect. So the fact that I was able to leave my phone here and go to a different part of the house and still not lose any quality was like pretty astounding. So do I recommend these? Absolutely. As far as any negatives go, I mean, they're supposed to automatically reconnect to your phone when you pull them out and you have your phone nearby and you put them in your ear. For the most part, they have done that, but there were a couple times when they sort of had trouble. Now that may not be a fault of these earbuds themselves. It may be because I also have AirPods and these uh, JLabs, which are playing music right now, I just noticed. But anyway, it may be because I also have past connections with these. Maybe it got a little confused because it only happened like once or twice in my testing. But yes, I do absolutely recommend these. There are other cheaper options out there. There are also maybe better options for only a little bit more. Like maybe the Razer wireless earbuds, I think they're only like $30 more and you're gonna get like a brand name. But is it $30 more worth of quality? I don't know, I haven't used them, so. Honestly though, if you're looking for some true wireless earbuds with fast charging, a long battery life, sweat and splash resistance, touch controls, compatibility with iOS and Android and other Bluetooth 5.0 devices all packed together in a sleek little package, then I think you should definitely check these out. For only $70, you may not be getting AirPods, you may not be as cool as all your other friends in school with their AirPods that their mom Nancy bought them or their stepfather Greg, but hey, you're still gonna have 
lots of music to listen to and it's going to be pretty clear and it's going to be not all that super expensive like airpods are that's ridiculous sometimes man they're not that good i just i said it airpods not that good slam me in the comments for that if you want go ahead and defend your airpods they're still not like the same as listening to like some high quality audio through like a nice DAC with some nice headphones any time of day so come at me i'm just kidding i like you and i like these these earbuds but tell me what you think about them have you ever tried these before do you have other true wireless earbuds that are not quite like airpods they're more budget models that you have liked what was your experience with those let me know in the comments like comment and subscribe i'm out of here if you like this video you might want to check out my review on this headset here you don't like the airpods they're not worth like 300 dollars. you're not worth trash <laughs> be that as it may <laughs>